Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have model with exhibition stall design till here. So let's continue with it. So let's start creating this chairs over here. So very first of all, let's take a line over here and let's create this chairs that's it all right so now what you can do over here is you can go into the line select the vertex and give a bit of fillet to it that's it all right so now go into rendering enabling viewport and let's make it as a bit rectangular and reduce the width of it okay so now you can click over here, push this vertices over here. That's it. And click this over here. Let's take one more line over here. Take a line. So this line, you can use it in this way. Make it as radial. Push it over here like this. Can increase the length and width of it a bit and a bit. Go to the top view and make a copy of it and click OK. That's it. All right. So as you can see, we have just created a very basic chair over here. If you want to make it a bit more tilted, if we are going to use this, you can go into this refine and you can just add a refine edge i'm sorry a refine point and you can right click on it on the vertices and make it a bit smoother and if you rotate it you can just rotate it a bit over here so let's group it and convert this to editable poly over here and group this and click ok that's it all right so now what we are going to make is we are going to make the center table so center table can be easily made over here so for the center table let's click over here take a cylinder push a bit up push this up resize this part click over here and increase reduce the height segments and increase the size so if you want to make it a bit chamfer you can reduce this height convert to editable poly let's select the top edge over here Or you can just click it over here and just ring it press ctrl and click on this polygon oh, sorry i want only the top edge so just click and use the loop option we can just select this alt and subtract this part and give the chamfer stuff over here and increase the chamfer and click ok all right so click on the polygon go to the bottom polygons over here use the inset option over here and use the bevel option use a bit of bevel okay and use the same extrude option to push this down and click ok that's it <coughs> so as you can see over here we have just created this part so let's mirror it and copy this stuff over here select this both just rotate it copy it 
So as you can click over here for the down part, you can just select this and use a bit of bevel option. So you can just reduce this part. Oh my god, you can can just make it as zero. And you can just push it down and you can increase this stuff. That's it. Alright. So you can just select this part and you can just scale it. Alright. So you can just change the color of it. As you're going to do the texture, this is just a basic coloring over here. So let's make this stand over here. For creation of this stand, same we are going to use the line part over here. So let's utilize this line in this manner. And this is finally a kind of a support for this select this push it up bit up over here and you can increase or decrease the length and width you can reduce the width a bit convert to editable poly select this polygons Select this and use the inset option. Click on by polygon and click OK. That's it. All right. So you can push this stuff over here, you can just rotate it and keep it as it is and change the color. All right. So now the next step is creating this. Uh, sofa, you can say a couch. So, for that, we are going to use over here. So, let's go over here onto this view that's your side view part. All right, so this is your front view so we are going to utilize this view that's your side view part okay so as you can see the sofa height is a bit less so just push this all right so take a line over here again Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial.